So, what can you do with Tingbot? Well, you could create a surf cam feed so you never miss out on the big waves. A games console for all your nostalgia needs. A GIF messenger to share little moments with your friends. A MIDI effects controller for your guitar. A one-hit pizza button. A new best friend. <laughs> a live stream of your pig. What we're trying to say is pretty much anything you can think of. We're a small team of designers and developers with a passion for making things. With a wide range of backgrounds and interests, we all want to do different things with the Raspberry Pi. So we developed our own hardware and software to make the Raspberry Pi exciting, engaging and simple as fudge. So what exactly have we got here? Tingbot's made of a few parts which build your Pi into a little internet connected product. Assemble the touchscreen, connect the programmable buttons and when wrapped up in its cool wee case, plug in the power and Tingbot's good to go. We've also made it really easy to create fun, interactive projects for Tingbot using our own development environment we call Tide. Watch this. Just open your code, select your device, and it's on there in a matter of seconds. This is OpenPy, a wireless computer for inventors, makers, and coders to demo, prototype, and sell physical products that run software. Here at Wireless Things, we've been searching for ways to ease the journey from an idea to an off-the-shelf product. Our story originally started by designing an Internet of Things hub, and along the way, a number of people told us what features they would like in such a product. We found that similarly to the Raspberry Pi, technical features were important, but for anyone's idea to reach the shelves, this product had to not only connect to your home network, but have a variety of uses and look at home by your TV. The OpenPi has two internal USB sockets and our integrated sub gigahertz SRF transceiver for communicating with long range low power nodes like the XRF or RFU, meaning you can get up to all kinds of cool stuff. You may also feel no one product will ever address our changing needs, however by openly sharing the design files we've given back the user what they need to make OpenPi their own. More and more frequently, the success of a product requires its looks to match its features with that in mind, we began with this, the first prototype for the open pie enclosure. After a lot of trial and error and 14,000 pound journey, I'm really pleased with the result because the design allows for you to have your name or logo embossed on our case for less than 2% of the cost of our journey. What I love about open source is the influence it's having on every single creative community. These communities, like never before, are changing how global brands like Microsoft, Cisco, GE and BT are innovating new ideas. The cheapest, most developer friendly and most powerful development board for voice applications. Matrix Voice is for makers. It's for industrial and home Internet of Things engineers, from novice to hardcore developers. Matrix Voice is powerful. Measuring 3.14 inches in diameter, it offers a radial array of seven MEMS microphones connected to a Xilinx Spartan 6 FPGA and 64 Mbit SD RAM, which provides developers with the opportunity to integrate custom voice and other hardware accelerated machine learning technology right onto the silicon. Matrix Voice also includes 18 RGBW LEDs, 64 GPIO pins for device-to-device -device connection, a standalone 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth-enabled 32-bits microcontroller version of Matrix Voice is also an option, satisfying the demand for mass commercialization of voice solutions for industrial and home IoT. You start by plugging Matrix Voice into a Raspberry Pi or other single-board computers, or by connecting it to power for standalone use. From there, you can download our CLI tool and libraries to start programming. We have made the libraries in multiple layers, so you can directly program the FPGA, or use C++ via HAL, or go all the way up to MOS and program everything in JavaScript with only a few lines of code. On top of all of that, we include technology for far-field voice capture, beamforming, acoustic source localization, noise suppression, de-reverberation, 
acoustic echo cancellation, and voice recognition integration with Google Voice and Amazon Alexa. Plus, our Matrix OS has a suite of computer vision algorithms, including face detection and gesture recognition, so that you can integrate some of the most advanced computer vision algorithms in the world by simply attaching a camera to your Raspberry Pi. LinkBot Module Robot. LinkBots are useful and engaging by themselves and can be customized into whatever kind of creation you can think of. LinkBots are modular robots where each module can snap together with other modules and accessories and connect wirelessly so you can quickly build new kinds of robots. I've had a passion for robots since I was a kid and I've noticed that they fall into two general categories. Either they're really complex with a steep learning curve or they're fun right away but they're really limited in what you can do. There wasn't anything in between, immediately engaging and hackable. Right out of the box, the LinkBot can connect wirelessly without a computer with Bump Connect. Once LinkBots are paired, you can use the accelerometer of one to control others with Tilt Drive. There's also something we call copycat mode, where the joints of one control the joints of others. There's even some basic force feedback. Programming can be intimidating to some people, so we've developed pose teaching which is kind of like stop-motion animation for robotics. It lets you start programming with your hands on the robot instead of a keyboard. Snap connectors let you quickly build unique robots. Or you can use standard number six screws to attach anything you can think of to the outside of the robot. A lithium-ion battery is built in with three hours runtime, and you can charge off a standard USB plug. LinkBot is Zigbee capable with a 100 meter range outdoors and can act as a dongle. The hubs are continuously rotating with absolute encoding. The robots have a three axis accelerometer, multicolor LED, and buzzer on board. Our software lets you control all these cool features in a dynamic way. You can do some pretty amazing stuff with zero programming experience. Okay, now that I've shown you how ridiculously easy it is to get started, let me show you some of the more advanced things you can do with the LinkBot. I showed you how to record complex motions with post teaching. Well, after you get it to look the way you want, just connect the LinkBot to a computer, and our software converts your poses into code. Right now, you can choose between C and Python, but we'll be adding more languages in the future, like Java. Make some changes to the code, push play, and the robots start moving immediately. Each module has an I2C bus that lets you expand its capabilities with things like sensors and Bluetooth. We even offer a breakout board so you can attach any kind of device you can think of to the robot. We want to empower the maker community, which is why our chip is Arduino compatible and our control software is open source. We've created a place on our website called MyBarobo where people can upload and share their designs with the LinkBot community. We also give you access to all the 3D models for our accessories so you can print them yourself. There's no limit to what you can create with the link. We have been designing a new, flexible, repositionable camera arm that works with the Raspberry Pi official camera. It's super cool and comes in two versions, one optimized for Pi Zero and one that works with all the other Pi versions out there. I am asking for your support to help make this product a reality. Let me show you a little bit more how it works. Connect the supplied cable to the official Raspberry Pi camera. Then push through the flexible neck. Then attach to the Raspberry Pi. Once assembled, it can be flexed in a variety of ways for your application. The Smarty Pi Flex Basic is designed to be used with any Pi version and the Smarty Pi Flex Zero is designed to be used with a Pi Zero. Both versions come with a variety of mounting options. And both versions include suction cups that extend its versatility 